talk about that because you probably had your best first half of football this year offensively. Yeah, I think it was. Um, you know, they did. They they worked extremely hard all week. That's something we've talked about uh, a lot. Um, you know, and I think we started fast because we moved the chains. We got we you know uh, converted on some third downs, which were huge. Um, uh, which is always going to be huge. Um, and then, you know, once you built that momentum and kind of got in the drive, you warmed down a little bit and uh, had an early touchdown, which was great, you know. And, um, you know, I thought we did a lot of good things. You know, I thought we did a lot of good things, especially in the first half. Third downs were uh, obviously better today, which um, felt like we still left some out there, um, things we need to improve on. Um, Felt like, uh, you know, red zone was still good, which was a positive. Um, being five of five in the red zone, I think uh, we had to kick a couple of field goals. We need to get touchdowns out of those. We don't want to leave that to chance. Um, but at the same time, I, you know, it's been a grind of a week. These, these players have worked extremely hard. I'm proud of the group. Um, we've been, it's, uh, it's been a grind. So uh, they responded this week well. Um, we're far from perfect. We have so much and uh, in, in a lot of different areas we have to improve on. and and learn and grow from. Uh, but it's a young group that uh, a lot of inexperienced guys that are getting that experience and, uh, you know, starting to starting to make some plays. How big was the first down production just getting not behind the chains and making those positive yards to make second and manageable? It's a heck of a lot. And it is really important not being in a lot of third and longs. I think the first two games we were, I don't even know what it was, but like most of our third downs were third and nine plus. And so that that's... That's tough for anybody. And so staying in front of the chains was important. I think uh, the tempo was important today, just getting guys in rhythm. Um, I thought when, once we got the first first down and we could get in a rhythm, um, I think our players uh, felt more comfortable uh, within the drive, um, you know, which was, uh, which was good to see. You know, we haven't had those opportunities here the last couple of weeks a ton. And so um, that was important for us. Um, you know, I thought coming out in the second half, that was an important drive for us. Uh, we needed to score a touchdown there. And to be honest with you, uh, and I'll tell our guys this week, you know, that I probably uh, screwed that up as, as much as they did. We should have got a, probably a touchdown in that situation. I had a call in that situation that I didn't love and didn't didn't feel like I had enough time to change it. So I ran it and it kind of got us back on third down to where uh, what not what in the ideal situation in that in that spot. And so I'll take that. Um, but uh, I thought they they did a great job coming out after half and getting points on the board. Now uh, after that, we we gotta we gotta clean some things up. We gotta we still have to do a better job of um, you know when adversity hits or the momentum kind of slides to the other side. We gotta gain it back quicker. Uh, we gotta do a good job responding. And I felt like at times in the second half uh, we didn't do that. Um, but again. Overall, uh, proud of the work, proud of uh, the efforts, and um, there are a lot of great efforts, and there's a lot of things we still have to clean up, which is awesome. You win a football game, and uh, there's still so many improvements that we have to make, and I know our guys are excited to uh, continue to grow and, and make those. So that's so many people have their ideas, you know, when an offense isn't working about why it's not working, mm -hmm. but how difficult is it to kind of piece this together when you have an offensive line that's been in flux, whether it's injuries or just young guys learning how to play, you know, alongside another guy? You know, I, I, I don't. You know, that's that's a challenging question because I don't. I don't. I, I'm not going to make excuses. Um, whoever's in there, we we talk about all the time. Um, you know, when one man goes down, another man steps up, and you have to be able to step up not only uh, in at that position group, but as a team and um, overcome it together. And um, at the end of the day, you uh, you really got to focus in on just. Um, getting those guys the experience they need and, and growing them up quick and that's what we're trying to get accomplished um is it challenging at time absolutely that's part of that's part of anything but i have faith in these men i do i love our group it's, it's a it's a fun group to be around um you can coach them hard and there's been some hard days uh but they respond well and they work hard and they want to be great they want to uphold the standard um and so I'm proud of that, um, and again, we'll continue to, you know, just, uh, you know, get a day better, get a week better, get us, you know, that, that's what it's all about to me, and um, I felt like they did that this week, so 
again, uh, proud of the proud of the efforts. Still have a lot to grow on. I know we're close to where we need to be, but uh, to step in the right direction. Was that a you, when you look through the week of practice? You go out there in the first half. Uh, you're, you're staying ahead of the change. You're, you're five of six on third downs. Is that proof of, of improvement from that group? Uh, there's no doubt. I mean, that's proof of um, being able to manage the game the right way, and that. That's all of us. Um, you know, we all have to do that together. Um, and so uh, I thought it was clean. Um, again, other than in the first half, you know, I think drive three, or I can't even remember what drive it was, but we ended up, um, you know, having an opportunity for a field goal. I felt like we could have uh, done some better things maybe there to get us in a little better position. Um, but again, I thought they, they played hard. They, they, I thought they Played pretty clean throughout the first half. Um, again, we got to. We got to. I think the next step is making sure that when we lose a little bit of momentum throughout some of these drives, we got to bounce back a little quicker. We we're uh, felt like we got a little hesitant, you know, and that's something we'll go through and, and and get a week better with as well. Three games in, are you, are you a little bit closer to the offensive line who's the best like, section of the tackle today? Again, it is what it is. I mean, when injuries and, you know, you get guys shuffling in and out at all positions, whether it's the, the whole line, the receivers, uh, you know, um, I think the backs have been probably the healthiest group uh, throughout uh, the season and the quarterbacks, I guess. So, you know, it, there's a lot of it's a it's a lot of uh, new guys. A lot of you know, you have to build a lot of continuity uh, each and every week, and that's part of it. That's part of uh, you know, with the quarterbacks and the receivers getting on the same page with up front and the running backs and the quarterback. It's all of us together. Um, we just got to continue to build that continuity, and um, you know, our guys are working extremely hard. I'm proud of the efforts. Uh, again, we still have a long way to <laughs> a long way to go, um, but they're they're working hard. Coach, you got Tennessee coming in this week. Can you just talk about your memories of Coach Hypo and playing here, teammates? Great friend of mine, great coach. Um, you know, and uh, you know, it was a, it was obviously a great teammate and a great player. So I have a lot of respect for Coach um, Coach Hypo and um, close friends. But at the end of the day, uh, I'm really focused in on this game, and that, I'm I'm really focused in on. And excited about tomorrow morning coming back and, and watching the tape and figuring out the different ways that we have to improve and learn and grow. And um, we'll worry about next week, kind of when we get there next week. Uh, I'm just going to enjoy this one tonight. Any mixed emotions about uh, seeing what Jackson's feet did for your offense, but also seeing, seeing him take more hits? Some of those design runs, some of them weren't. He made plays with his legs tonight when he had to. You know, I think the. Um, the third down in the red zone there at the end of the game. That was a huge play. And that's something that, um, you know, we've been talking about and we continue to stress, you know, when things break down, you're athletic and you have to, you're going to have, your teammates are going to have to be able to rely on you to make those big time plays in those moments. And I felt like at times tonight he did that. Um, and again, Jackson's uh, along with myself and every other player on that field, we still have things we, uh, you know, there's still going to be plays that we felt like we left some, some meat on the bone per se, um, but uh, you know I thought um, you know he, he's he's playing tough, um, and uh, he made some big time plays for us tonight. Now it's now it's about all right. How can we continue to grow and, and get better in some of these other departments and and allow ourselves to make sure we get the most out. We we get, we gotta we gotta make sure we get the most out of the layups. You know when those opportunities are there, uh, I think we're we're we're. Uh, we're not making enough of those layups at, at the time. But again, I, I don't think it's because of effort. I don't think it's because of uh, grit, desire, and want. It's about just execution, simple, routine, executed plays. Um, a lot of the times turn into explosive plays. Some of that happened tonight. And um, again, there's going to be some that uh, guys are going to look on tape, myself included, and we're going to say, I, I wish I had that one back. So what did you think of your running game today? It seemed to have a little better flow to it. Yeah, I did, and especially when we got in a rhythm, got in a tempo in the first half. I thought it went great, you know, and um, I think that was a big reason why we had some of the success we did on those drives and uh, kind of got them back on their heels, which was important. Um, I think they do a great job defensively. they got good players. Man, they're a solid group and they're well coached. And so we knew it was going to be a dogfight. We knew we were going to have to play at a high level in order to, you know, have the success as a team we wanted. Um, 
and I felt like the biggest thing was we got into rhythm, and I think that's something that we have to continue to do, get that first first down. And to me, it's not all just about tempo. It's about, um, you know, being able to establish the line of scrimmage and um, being balanced enough to where you can get the defense back on their heels, and we were able to do that at times today. At other times, we weren't, and so uh, we got to find out uh, what we need to do better in those situations to get back to getting back where we need him to go. Jackson played a really good game with the exception of one play, sort of panic. How do you make sure to put that behind him? And well, uh, again, I, I think it's you know, everybody sees a pick, right? A pick six, and it's it's bad. Um, and it's you're going to point directly to him. But at the same time, he's got to be smarter with how he plays that play. We missed a protection. And... Uh, um, you know, he had a he had a protection issue right there on his face, and uh, he's got to understand that in that moment he he actually got out of it, and now it's just get vertical and, and get what you can get. Um, don't don't make a bad play worse. Uh, get a negative back to a positive is what we call it. And so uh, there's no doubt uh, he'll want that back, but at the same time. Um, you know, again, guys around him have to do their job, and then no different in the run game. You know, when he's he's got a certain tag or a certain uh, RPO that he's supposed to pull and run the correct way, he needs to run it the correct way, and it's all of us. And so, um, that's going to happen in football. Uh, the biggest thing at that position, you have to be able to manage the game, and and you have to be able to make a negative a positive, uh, meaning uh, let's not let's let's get out of here and, and play the next down per se. He talked about the big four seven that he's able to get to. It wasn't even supposed to be him running the game. It's all the corner woods going inside, and he decided to pull it and take it. Is, is that kind of what you're talking about with the reads and understanding? Making the right play at the right time. Absolutely, and again, for for where we've been out the first couple of weeks, there has definitely, there's no doubt, um, has been some designed runs, uh, probably more so than uh, I would have liked, uh, maybe coming into the season. But that's where we're at. And at the end of the day, if he's going to add extra hats, and um, you know, those are things that we have to do to be um, uh, to get the drives going, or to stay in the drives, um, to keep the defense back on their heels, that's what we'll do. That's that's what you have to do at, at that position um, or for your offense. But at the same time, I felt like uh, it was a little less um, maybe tonight. And I think he made some plays just being, uh, you know, a good ball player and uh, made the right reads on some plays. And um, again, uh, made some scrambles that were huge for us, uh, which is you're going to have to do it. There, there's never going to be perfect calls. You're going to, there's never going to be a perfect protection, um, you know, it's football. You you have to be a ball player, and I thought uh, you know he did some things that way tonight to where uh, he extended plays with his legs, which were which is we're gonna have to have that. Jackson and Dion have stepped forward today for you, just in terms of his involvement and the, the plays that he made, the type of plays he made. Yeah, I think so. You know, it was, again, it was a week better, and again, that's something that's what we got to continue to stress: just getting a day, getting a week. There's gonna be. Again, um, we're nowhere close to where we need to be, but the guys are working hard. They they under they, you know, the biggest thing with me is you got to hold yourself accountable, uh, and you got to hold your teammates accountable. And this is myself included. You always have to look in the mirror at yourself first. In the first couple of weeks, you know the the standard is not even close to where we would have liked it. Um, and so, how do we how do we get better? Well, the first thing we have to do is look ourselves in the mirror, and the second thing is we have to hold each other accountable to making plays. And I think once you kind of are comfortable doing that, and um, you can kind of put the um, defensive uh, part of yourself away and, and put your humility away and, and just want something for the team, I think things start coming together. And um, again, it's a great group, they're a tough group, um, and uh, you know, we're getting to where, you know, we're getting better. So that's what we're looking for. Thanks, Thanks Thank Seth. you.